Hey, yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for waiting for me if you're still here. I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I was waiting on Jonathan to turn the TV down because we were watching the Disney sale. And hey, Linda. Hey, Book. Hello, Eddie, Alabama. And so I am Lucy Curios, and I'm going to be shipping from South Carolina tonight. Well, I ship from there every day. <laughs> I'm going to be selling from South Carolina tonight. Um, I've got a bunch of items that I want to, like, kind of clear my shelves of that I've been looking at for a long time now. Hey, Joshua, good to see you. And so I'm going to start going through the ones that I didn't get to earlier today and hopefully we'll put a dent in some of this stuff so cool so great to see you all on this Monday night usually I come into my chat on Mondays <laughs> and I'm like so alone so lonely okay this is about seven and a half inches tall and it's beautiful it's a picture holder and it's very like cloisonne styled. Um, it's got the enamel paint inside of the metal and it's got some bling bling on it. And it's got this dragonfly with red eyes. And this one is $5 and it is number 18. And you just hold your little photos in there. And it looks so cute. $5 number 18 for the teapot photo holder. Thank you, Mary Jo. Hey, Perfect and Pearls. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Mary Dugan. Oh, my gosh. So great to see all of you. Hey, Patty Paws. Okay. So, I got Mary for that. Put you in the safety zone. Um, <laughs> this guy, he's going to be $2. He is a doctor. My husband made fun of me because I was like, maybe he's a miner and that's some iron ore in his hand. And then I was like, but why? I was just, you know, I didn't think the doctor wore the light on his head. Maybe he's a dentist. I'm not going to guess anymore. And this one's going to be $2. And he is number 24. Whether or not he had something in that dirty palm of his right there, I don't know. Um, but, you know, healthcare field. Two dollars, Doctor Figurine, and this is number twenty-four. And um, I'm excited. I'm gonna start doing some Lucid's cryptic, cryptid curios on my um, downtime if I ever get any, and craft some cryptid curios out of my figurines. Okay, someone send me a snack. <laughs> Okay, this little dude, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> I think he's the town drunk. He's got like a bag of like fruits and then he's got a booze bag. Yeah, that's totally what that is. And he's got a patch on the knee. And you never know what a person's going through, so we don't judge him. He's made in Taiwan by the company DeVille. And this beautiful guy is going to be $2. And he is number three. 30 and he's going to be four and a half inches tall two dollars number 30 for the very cool town drunk man okay. if she sent me a gift i doubt it they're like press to open and then they're like if you buy this we'll be this for gifts okay this is verona vagasi vagasi from bridgeport connecticut in 1980 and it's a little boy and his puppies and he's wearing a hat and he's got this little bucket next to him that's pretty much empty besides the little spotting in there and so you could put a little air plant which by the way they sell in the garden center at the registers at walmart now they're like two bucks they're pretty cool. I bought one. I did nothing to it. And it's still living. <laughs> and this little guy. He's $2. And it is number 35. 
two dollars number 35 little boy and his dog little boy and dog okay let's move to something besides figurines and i have where did my box go oh i have these cool things um they're like little leaf garlands and you can decorate with them and do crafts this one has like a little piece of string hanging on the back of it you can put them at the bottle of like a tall white candle or something and these are going to be a, a dollar each i have three of them and they are number 19 one dollar each number 19 for the leaf little garland surround doohickeys you could put them around whatever you like you could just dress your house up to be all green leaf things hopefully i know what that means okay what is that one alligator heart oh is my my heart's beating so slow because i'm hibernating as an alligator hey dm <laughs> joshua i still think of that earth to elizabeth um emojis at night <laughs> i laugh about that a lot okay he's from he's from next door oh louisiana oh i need somebody to explain it to me again he said he said you're probably saying louisiana woman and dm i hope you're doing well tonight this is lillian two's chinese with wisdom hey coffee with demetrius doing good y'all i think demetrius just got his channel up and going if y'all can show him some love look him up and check out some of his um content and this little book it's called spiritual magic for everyday living and so as you can imagine it's probably about feng shui and it's all about the five elements and luckiness and like prosperity and where you put the gods and just all kinds of different stuff it's cool to learn different cultures um you know spirituality and things and this is going to be three dollars and it's number 25 three dollars number 25 for the spiritual spirituality Very spiritual true. magic for everyday living i can't talk and it's printed in italy okay so i see linda for number 25 thank you linda Chinese wisdom. Okay. I'll put your book in the safety box. Look up with the doctor in there, like somebody bought him. Nobody bought the doctor. Okay. This is a pretty fan. It's just got um some purpley birds and some red and yellow leaves i don't know if this goes with the color scheme of your home or not but they're cool to decorate with and they're nice to have on hot days you're just on a panel with steven oh cool cool and this is going to be one dollar number 31. one dollar number 31 for this beautiful bird fan <laughs> Huh? No, that's for the stuff that sold. <laughs> and then also as well, too, I have another bird fan. But this one is Yellow Bird. And he kind of blends into the paper almost. He's kind of neat. And there's some red flowers. Oh, I got Mary Jo for 31. And this one... It's going to be number 36. It's $1. And it's the red and yellow bird fan. Red and yellow bird fan. Okay. Joe and Linda. Thank you very much, Mary Jo and Linda. Yeah, it was a popular one. Okay. 
Linda wants 36. Got it. Thank you. Okay. So now it goes in the, in the box. All right. Now, let's see what we have. What do we have here? I have a giant paper clip. Great for holding a file. Great for desk decor or bookshelf decor. I use mine to hold um, a photo. And this is going to be $1. And it is number 20. If anybody's interested in that, $1 number 20. Giant novelty paper clip. I feel like I'm giving them names, like I'm listing them. Okay, 36. Got that already. Thank you. And number 20 is Mary Jo Lukowski. Thank you very much, Mary Jo. Okay, Linda Perry. Uh, who did I already not write the book down for? Uh, 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 Chinese wisdom book number 25. Y'all have to go back or I'm never going to remember. That was Linda Funky. Linda, okay. For 25. Thank you. And 36. You just got such a good memory. And Mary Jo 20. <laughs> yeah, I got Mary Jo. Okay. All right. Let's do another figurine. Oh no! Everybody get ready. Linda saying, "Me, me, me." <laughs> she got twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Linda. <laughs> and it's a um. Oh, this is a kitty cat figurine, and my lighting's too bright again. It like washes my stuff out. Let me turn down. There it is. Okay, here's the kitty cat figurine, and it's the mama cat and the two babies, and. They say Home Co. Made in Taiwan, 12, 25, 15, Love GM, which I assume is Grandma. And it's adorable. Everybody loves the little white cats. This one, it's like he was applied to it. This one on the edge. I don't know. And this is going to be $3. And it is number 26. $3, number 26 for the kitty cat. And if y'all would like a live kitten, we have some for free. <laughs> Going to a good home here. Lady Elaine, number 26. Got you, Lady Elaine. All right. Up next, we have Nana, who may have had something around her sleeve here at one point or maybe that's the glue they put to put her arm back on not too sure but she's you know homely and she has a green dress and red shoes it's with the red shoes today and this is says 922.79 and it's like raw maybe it said robin at one point in time <laughs> and she's gonna be one dollar number 32. That's it. 41. Mm -hmm. 1979. Yeah, 79. She's younger than you. Damn, says you want to ship the I can't, sh I can't pay to ship the kittens, but if, I mean, I'm not saying I won't deliver them depending on where you live. <laughs> Okay, number one. I can't remember. I can't remember which state DM is. I have to look in my databases. Oh, she's so pretty. This little lady. She's like little Miss Muffet sitting on a tuffet. And she has got a lovely basket of flowers and it's pink. She's got this pretty like mustardy yellow Florida dress on there she lives in florida yeah we're going to visit <laughs> how far down florida <laughs> <laughs> and then no uh, so there's the back and she is gonna be um two dollars and she is number 37 two dollars number 37 for the lady in the flowers 
And I think that was a description earlier today, so I have to be careful. And flowers peak basket. Okay. Elaine number 37. Thank you, Lady Elaine. Between Tampa and Orlando. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's where Tampa is where <laughs> Tampa is where you stop. When I used to live in Louisiana, before you drive further south into Florida, you make that drive to Tampa and then you got to sleep at night. I mean, Might need a break. <laughs> I mean, do you want the kitten? Cause yeah, I'll deliver. This is, um, this is, that's not your cat. This is a little man and he's got oranges and he's getting running. He's running to, um, that place in town where they throw oranges at people. And That's <laughs> I hope I and he is going to be two dollars, and there's nothing wrong with him. He's kind of some places he's glazed over, some places he's more bisque filling, and he he's going to be two dollars, number twenty one. Great, uh, for like your Fourth of July display. He's like a Yankee Doodle guy with his bow in the back. Okay. Two dollars, number twenty-one for Yankee Tomato Boy. Oh, did he say tomato too? Well, oh, what did tomato. I say before? You said no, we're just. <laughs> I totally meant tomatoes. <laughs> they throw tomatoes at people. Okay, and let's see what else I have. Okay, I have some little golden books. They're going to be, um, let's see, this is killing me, wait, DMC, oh my god, no, kittens, I got two cats and one puppy, <laughs> I can't, you cannot give a kitten, I mean, you can give a kitten away online, but you never know, you know, they might be using it for other things, and so, I like to give them to people that I know, for free, but otherwise you kind of get stuck with them. So this is Hansel and Gretel, and it's an older version. It was 69 cents back in the day, and it's a little golden book. It does have some wear to the cover there, and there's what the back looks like. And there's what the little imagery looks like. And this one... I don't know. I don't feel like pulling back the page just to look, but I will. I don't think it's that old if it don't have... I don't know. I know nothing. By the Brothers Grimm. So this is a good version. And this is a 28th printing from 1980. So this is before, you know... Well, they do make some pretty good revamps of this. This is going to be $2, number 27. For the Hansel and Gretel little golden book. And Gretel. Hey Nanette, good to see you. Yeah, we have um three kittens. I found one at home, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it back to Louisiana in time to give it away. And these next little golden books are i guess disney ones it's pocahontas and i was like pocahontas and what this book belonged to brooke addison she's got her little sticker there to claim her golden books and this one is copyright 1995 and there's pocahontas talking to the tree she's like the og hippie before hippies were even cool and she sings to the like nature and stuff and that's what the back looks like it's two dollars and it is number 33 two dollars number 33 for that little golden book and then there's the winnie the pooh one and this is obviously a newer version and this is going to be two dollars number 38 okay so little golden books for two dollars
Coco. Huh? One, two, and Pooh. Did any of y'all go see the live action movie Pooh? I'm not going to tell the <laughs> I shouldn't tell the Pooh story again, but that was really hard to sit through and not laugh because they just kept calling for him by his last name. Okay. What do we got now? Oh, this is another man, but I think he's got apples. And bless his heart. Oh, I don't want to make a president joke. But he's very cute. He's got his little vest on. And he looks like he it's time for him to go home and eat his, you know, applesauce and his pudding. And he's got rosy little lovely cheeks. And he is two dollars number 22 no markings on him and no chips or missing fingers two dollars number 22 for my pal <laughs> i can't give him a new name i don't know <laughs> okay old man apples that's his description okay Let's see. We have, I think this is probably crystal because it's heavy, but I don't know. Um, that's the only way I hear to tell crystal is if it's heavier than glass. Some people be like, it does have a ring to it though. And there's a little angel that somebody fastened to this glass or fashioned. I don't know what they did. Um, and the little angel has a little mark on the side. And I don't recognize the marking at all whatsoever, but it it's a cute little glass and it is two dollars and is number twenty-eight. Two dollars number twenty-eight for the little angel glass. Okay, so there's that girl. DM number twenty-eight. DM Thank you very much. You see it faster than me. Oh, because I never turned on my YouTube chat. Uh, I'm like, why is he why is he beating me? Okay. Now that's gonna go in the be careful with me box. So for my next magic trick, I have these three bowls and they are two dollars each and they are number 34 so just let me know how many you want um they do have signs of wear as they are vintage has your mom's hair on it um so there's those but they're really cool they're grippable i like them Hey, I Spy Queens, y'all go subscribe to I Spy Queen. She's going to be on with me and Teresa tomorrow on Sweet Tea's Treasures on Teresa's channel. So $3, number 34 for the wooden bowls. Okay, got you, Lady Elaine. Thank you very much. Three, three wooden bowls. And I have some salt and pepper shakers. These are probably like new old stock. They're from 1993 Boston Warehouse. And they are gold star salt and pepper shakers. They're in their box. Oh, you're welcome. And so, I don't know. To me, they've like turned to silvery looking, but... Maybe that's just my eyes. It looks very silver to me. I don't know. And they were made in Taiwan. And there's little, little stoppers in the bottom. And these are going to be $2. And for these lovely star Boston Warehouse Reflection Salt and Pepper Shakers. They're number 39. $2.39. Mm 
I'm just proud that I still have my ruler. <laughs> okay. I don't want you to go back on the show. You need to go back to the donation center. Okay. This is really cute. It's a souvenir piece. And if you've ever been on vacation anywhere, you know, souvenirs can be quite expensive. So they are, you know, tend to be good quality pieces. Um, but, you know, some people poo poo on the souvenir pieces. I like them personally. And this is an Ohio mini like pitcher. And it's got all these great famous landmarks in Ohio. And um, this is all I know is like Kent State in Ohio and the bug, Bone Thugs and Harmony come from Ohio. Okay. This is five inches tall and it's just adorable. It's I want to say it has a little ding to it there. Yep. There's a little ding. At the handle but it faces the back without the image so that's great and you can water your keep this by your little plant that you forget to water and it is two dollars number 23 two dollars number 23 for the ohio souvenir piece bone thugs and harmony what else do, have, do you in ohio i don't know Oh, your favorite channel. Rome and the Fam. Y'all ever seen Rome and the Fam on YouTube? They're pretty cool. They're these, um, this group of guys, and they're trying to get out of, no, that's Michigan. That's not Ohio. Okay. <laughs> this is hand-painted Japan. That's what it says. Hand-painted Japan. And it's a little lady, and she's calling her suitor, and she's like, hello. I spy queen, 23. I got you for 23, I spy queen. It's, it's a good souvenir piece. It's cute. It's cute, cute. And so she's like, hello. And he's like, hey. I don't know. I don't even think they go together. But anyway, she's $2. She's glazed. She's very pretty. She's got a big bustle on the back of her dress and a little blue hat. Oh, your daughter and grandbaby live in Ohio. Nice. Hey, Nancy Smith. Good to see you. And she's going to be, oh, $2, number 29. And again, she's going, hello, looking for her shooter. I'm going to put hello lady and see if I can figure it out later. And I'll be crying when I have to go back to the stream and watch. Hello lady. Okay. Let's say. Lady Elaine number 29. Thank you, Lady Elaine. Girl, you can have a good figuring collection. Miss Pat Doodles. Oh, I can't pull out a piece of fabric when Pat walks in. She's on fabric, Ben. That would be cruel and unusual. Hey, Pat. Good to see you. And if y'all haven't already, y'all need to be sure to go subscribe to Pat Doodles. I hear she's got a big doll sale coming up this week. And so y'all hit y'all's notifications because sometimes when it's pretty in the yard, you can't get her to come inside to sell. So here's the humble gentleman. Oh, wow. And he's in a red coat. So maybe he's British. I don't know. And he is not marked. I mean, you can see at one point in time they had some kind of like red marking and then somebody put felt on him. And so I don't know who made him. I assume Japan. Um, And he is $2 and he is number 40. $2 number 40. For the gentleman in the red coat. <laughs> I wanted to call him Dapper Dan, but Dapper Dan sold earlier today. Okay. 
So I've got to put her in the safety zone. I've got to put him in the safety zone. Okay. Because Elizabeth breaks everything. All right. I know I have another box over yonder. Okay. This is my my five dollar box i'll pull an item out of there this is a lovely little purse by viv and lou and it's like um that pretty blue and white stripe pattern and it's this lovely it feels like suede almost but i think it's just leather or maybe faux leather because i don't smell it and this little front pocket opens up this inside pocket opens up and then it flaps over and it, then you just go out looking so cute in your khaki shorts and your white t-shirt. And this is going to be $5 and it's number 45. And again, the brand is Viv and Lou. I've never heard of it, but maybe you have. $5, number 45. <laughs> Okay, so let's see who else I can get out the box. I'm sorry, paper warning, loud crumpling paper. Okay, here's an adorable cat, and it's got, I'm showing my computer, it's got blue eyes <laughs> and this collar with this lovely little bow that probably used to be glued, had something glued there. I don't know what it was. But there's his little collar. He looks like he could use some more paint on if you wanted to, you know, sugarcoat him. He's got pretty blue eyes and pink nose. And this guy measures... Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Six and a quarter inches tall. And he's like five inches across. So he's a good size little cat, and he is two dollars, and he is number fifty five zero two dollars number fifty for the cat. Cat with the bow. Alrighty, yay, Lady Elaine! You're gonna love Pat Doodle. She's fun. She's a good time. And y'all don't forget to subscribe to I Spy Queen. She's in, she's a good time too. Okay. Let's see. This is a girl reading a book on a bench. She's got a pretty gown, red top. She's, you know, oh, she's on a fence post. Okay. And, it, and she's defying gravity. Oh, no. There's a stone down there. She's not. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. She's defying gravity. <laughs> and she's going to be $2. And she is number 55, and she measures, she's not as big as some of them, let's see, five inches tall, and mm, two and a half inches across. And that, again, that's two dollars, number 55. Girl reading. Yeah, you want the cat? The cat is missing. He had something missing from his bow. You don't have to be. So just so you know, he's like that. He needs like a jewel or something. Alrighty. And got her written down. Okay. And thank you, Teresa. If you. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie had a Disney sale tonight. All Disney on her channel with. D from Thrill of the Thrift. It was pretty awesome. If you guys didn't get to see it, make sure y'all go back and check that out because they have some cool stuff. Okay. Oh, he's got to be safe from my Lucid's Cryptid Curios collection. Signature collection. Okay. This, I'm not really sure. Um... It's by Springs Industries Incorporated. And I think Julia from Perfecting Pearls had told me this was like the wedding pattern or something. But I don't really know. 
and it's got this thing cut out of it right there but it's made to look like a quilt but it's just fabric but you could you know stuff it and sew it over and then sew over those quilted lines and pretend you're quilting yourself and for this little fabric square it's going to be one dollar and it is number 60. one dollar number six zero wedding ring okay yeah you better eat y'all are looking at them cookbooks getting all hungry i ain't gonna lie that disney cookbook did look pretty yummy okay um, so i have these hens in a basket salt and pepper shaker set and they i think they used to make noises but they don't anymore because there's some funny sounding things rolling around in there but there's your two hens in a basket and here's your pepper and here's your salt oh the pepper's rooster he's got eyebrows and i guess they are hens never mind they're both hens hens in a basket and they are two dollars for these little guys and they are some sort of like plastic or composite material and they are number 41 two dollars number 41 for the hen in a basket salt and pepper shakers ah well maybe you want to see the picture there we go hey book book i went to ship out your package today and i had my address from louisiana on it so i brought it back from the post office and i forgot to invoice you for a couple of things but don't worry we're sending it's coming to you anyway that was my bad okay let's see salt and pepper and then that was on the quick square okay exactly make a pillow i mean i can make a pillow Teresa, if that's what you're telling me to do. I made pillows for my grandpa one year for his couch. There. <laughs> I really liked horses, so I made them all horse pillows. This is a cute little pretty bird. It reminds me of a parakeet. These are very soft blue and white pastel colors. And Lady Elaine, number 41, I got you, girl. for the children and he's got this beautiful flower on there i don't i don't think those are chips i think they're just the way the flower petals are cut unless they use pink clay i don't know and anyway it reminds me of pretty bird from that movie and he is going to be two dollars and he is number 46 Two dollars, number forty-six for Pretty Bird. Everybody can hear you. You're like that lady that mumbles next to the other lady at that one sale we watched. <laughs> oh my! That's got to go to my cryptid curios collection. Okay, did we get through this entire box of figurines today? Dead, that'd be amazing. Okay, here's a here's another gentleman. Oh, I think he goes more with that lady suitor. Okay. And he is like, hello. And she's like, she's like, what is that? And so he's uh, made in Japan. Yup. Just like his his fellow woman over there. And he's pretty, you know, a pretty good size. For the japan figurines he's about six and a half inches and other than slight paint loss on his toes i don't see anything wrong with this guy so he's a very nice um glazed japan piece how did you know um <laughs> book you're hilarious <laughs> and he is um two dollars and he is number 51 two dollars number 51 for the yellow coat 
I don't know where the yellow coats are from. His eyes are close together. I had to do a double take. Okay. I think that's my last time I'm having to uncrumple paper. Oh, cute. This is a little boy or girl and their bird. And they're doing a little shimmy kick shuffle over there. And they've got flowers down there. Um, I think there should be another petal on that flower, but I can't tell like where it broke off at. It's probably there somewhere. And anyway, he's really adorable. He's kissing his bird. He's probably probably loving his bird. So he's taking him out of the cage outside and the bird's gonna fly away. And he is two dollars. Lady Elaine, I got you for number fifty one. And he is number 56. $2, number 56 for this little boy. He's so cute. Okay. Now, for my other $2, no, let's do some $1 items. I have two of these vases. They are one dollar each. You can do all kinds of things with clear glass, like put colorful lights, colorful sand. You could put colorful beads. You could use these as nice candelabra, candelabra, candlestick holders yeah. on each end of the table. One dollar each number 42 just let me know how many you would like for the glass bud bases i'm so fancy it would look fancy as candlestick holders i'm thinking of putting some sconces in these to see what happens mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta put Teresa's cat in the safety box. Lady Elaine, 42 times two. All right, Lady Elaine. Thank you, girly. Okay. Now, not, well, I would like, I wish I could clean as I go, but in this situation, you're not really. It's not an option. Okay, so I showed this earlier today, but I'm going to show it one more time just in case nobody was around to see it. And it is the macrame purse. You can macrame crochet or weave fabric and fashion you a purse with these purse handles. And you can iron your little name to whatever you made your purse out of. Or not your name, but your initials. And this bad boy is... It was $5 earlier today. I'll knock them down to $4. Number 47. Purse. Kit. Handle maker bag. And it's even got. Look that little part. You can weave it through all the way across. They don't make them like that anymore. And. I do have. This book here, it's Pocahontas. Probably, I would say the newer version. Nope, same year, 1995. It's a golden book. So it's just a different style. And it's $1. And it is number 52. $1 number 52 for the Disney's Pocahontas. I can't spell Pocahontas, obviously. <laughs> and then, okay. <laughs> Reaching around. This hat is adorable. It's been made, made by Liz Claiborne. And it's a work in your yard hat. And I like it. 
my ponytail's not letting it sit right, but you know, you put the bow and you wear it like that, tilted. It's a Sunday hat. It's a Sunday hat, or it's a out in the sun hat. You know, Liz Claiborne, that lady. And it still has the little thing where the tag was attached to it, like that plastic thingamadoo, so maybe nobody even wore it. Um, but it does, it does have some wear right there. Just noticed it. I probably did that. And <laughs> so it'll be $2, number 57. $2, number 57 for the list Claiborne hats. And this is my favorite hat out of the bunch. And it is a Scala collection hat. And it's 100% seagrass. And it's got the, um, the lovely cheetah print, leopard print on there. And you could look really cool. And it's got a bow. You could wear it in the front. And you could look really weird. And this lovely hat, great for working in the yard. Great for anything, really. I recognize the tag, but it's like the name brand doesn't really jump out at me. Anyway, this lovely hat is going to be $4, and it is number 61 for the, for the Scala hat, Scala collection, with an E on the end, collection, I guess it's French, ooh la la, okay, and then <laughs> lastly, I have this, I probably should list this, Jenny Wine. Nylon weave, Park Royal hats. It's an exclusive design. It's a size seven and one quarter. And it's like a fedora. And my ponytail's still in the way. But it'll fit. And you too can look this cool. And this is gonna be, and that's what the inside looks like. Like it's a it's a nicely woven hat. And look, was that the Oh no, somebody stapled something in there. So that's not the original price tag, I'd imagine. And this is going to be $5, and it's number 43 for this hat. I oh, know, my hats are all priced kind of funny. Okay, and let's see, my $5 items, I can run through those real quick, and then we can do a roundup recap. Dollars number 43. Purple fedora going to Lady Elaine. Okay. No, it was D, it was number 43. Oh, well, I have it in top chat. I'm sorry, DM. Let me put it to live chat. I probably got that backwards. No, it says Lady Elaine first. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, no. 43 is a different number. I'm laughing. Sorry, DM. Ha ha. Nice hat, DM. You're going to wear that on the beach. Okay. Not everybody in Florida lives on the beach. I'm sorry. Here's um a golden pineapple. I mean, it's not made of gold, but you know. And it's got a little place where you can stick your straw in. And when you go to those, um like... To not toga parties. What is it that they have? Those Hawaiian themed parties? Luau parties? Yeah. You could put your straw in there and you'd be like the fanciest one. Also, I feel like you could put like a candle in there and make some cool like porch art with that. And so there's the inside. I don't know why the lid's gold and that's okay. So it is meant for a straw. That makes sense. Because the top is gold and the inside stainless steel, so your drink goes in this part. Ha! Huh? Because they both be stainless steel if it was like a cocktail shaker. And this is <laughs> that's a, a long story. Okay, $5, number 48, for this beautiful golden pineapple. $5, number 48. Okay. 
the end. Then I have ah, this that I've sold once before, but it, the person who purchased it never paid their invoice. And it's by Hen Feathers, and it's Accents for the Home and Garden. And it's from King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, but it's handmade in China. <laughs> so um, there's the tortoise and the hare. And with all that Beatrix Potter stuff and everything coming popular again, it, it's a cool little trivet. And you could put like a plant on top of that in a nursery or on your porch or just maybe like a step in the flower bed in the front. I mean, I wouldn't step on it, but you know, for decor. And that's what the back looks like. And this one is going to be $5 and it is number 53 for the um, tortoise and the hare. I almost called it the rabbit and the hare again. And I'm almost through my the last of those items. And then I'll do a recap of what didn't sell. Tortoise and hare. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I like anything to do with outside. I'm like, ooh. Okay, this is The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And um, it does have a note for our fearless leaders written in the front cover. But unlike the last copy I had, this one is not scribbled on every page. And I, I read the story to you guys at night. It's really, it's a cute story. And it's about a little boy and a tree growing old together. And this guy makes the best books ever. He makes Where the Sidewalks End, The Light in the Attic, very good stuff. And he's going to be $5, number 58. Thank you, Teresa. Show. He's still my... One of my favorite authors, even though I'm not a kid anymore. I still love this stuff. Okay. And then... Oof! It's killing me, because I really just would use it for myself. But this is a kidney-shaped, very mid-century style planter. It does have some, like... That's a chip there, and then some flea bites up here around the edge. Um, it is from 1967, and it was made by somebody named Rene with that French accent on the end. Why can I not? Uh, uh, it's there. Anyways, this is the inside. It's, um, it reminds me of that, I don't know, avocados, because it's like brown and green on the out, you know. And anyway it'd be a fun planter ashtray chips and dips bowl anything like that i want to use it as a planter but it's going to be five dollars number 44 for the original 1967 vintage mid-century modern um pottery five dollars number 44 and if y'all know me i love my pottery <laughs> okay green kidney pottery and this came from i want to say i picked this up in Asheville, north carolina nice um artisans up there okay this is a older vase it's got a lot of crazing going on on this piece i'll try to show it up close and Here's the top. Is that nope, that's gold. Okay, that's it's got gold gilding around it and it's got this pretty like I don't know, dark brown vine with the white, blue and pink flowers. And there's its bottom. It has like a maker imprinted in there, but I have a hard time making it out. It says Marosa Warrants. Oh, okay. And then something else. Marosa warrants something else. And it's really pretty. It's got the image on both sides. I don't see any chips or cracks in it yet. And that's going to be $5, number 49, for this beautiful piece. 
And it is, I can give you a measurement on that. Oh no. At least I still have my ruler near me. It is, and I'm using my ruler backwards, just like Teresa. Four and three quarter inches tall. So 4.75 inches. And again, $5, that's number 49. And I have an Otagiri teapot. Otagiri used to be the bee's knees in the vintage community. Not so much anymore, I guess. Because I thought this would fly off the shelf. It's handcrafted Otagiri. The sticker's just kind of worn off. And there's another marking. And so there's the image. It's a cute little teapot. Sunflower and a ladybug. And it's got the little steam release on the on the teapot, and it's got like a ceramic mesh thing where the spout goes, so your tea leaves, if you grew raw tea, do not get poured out of the teapot. And it's five dollars, and it is number fifty-four. Flower release, and that's just teapots. And so, my last item of the night is a beautiful Lily of the Valley mug. It's huge. It's huge size. Um, and it was originally a Teleflora gift mug, you know, and they put the flowers in the mug and they send them to the people. And this would hold a pretty good size plant, I would think. It's five five and a quarter inches deep and about the same tall it's got this huge monster of a handle so like yeah if somebody has gripping problems or anything like that this might help them this is going to be five dollars number 59 and that is it for my five dollar items and i'm going to run back through the stuff that didn't sell tonight Okay. Bye, Teresa. Book would like number 50. Th this is 59. Is that what you meant? 50 was a cat with the bow. And that's what Teresa got. I could have called something else 50 by mistake. Just let me know which item book, if it was a teapot, the mug, the flower vase, whatever. Whichever one. Okay, and so let's do a recap. So we have the doctor that's also a minor and a professor. And he was $2, number 24. I don't hold things up very long. Sorry. Let me give you a... There you go. Does he have a mark? No. It looks like a Made in Taiwan sticker, though. I think. Coffee cup. Okay, the Big Lily of the Valley coffee cup. Got you, girlfriend. Okay. So that was number 59. The book. Books guessing. <laughs> Coffee cup? Okay, Dr. Figurine. He was $2, number 24. The town drunk. He is still one of my favorites out of all the figurines I picked up. $2. And he is number... Oops. Number 30. And I wish he was glazed so I could put him in my fish tank and it wouldn't hurt them. $2, number 30. The little boy and his dog. That's going to be $2, number 35. And he's got the yellow leg green hat. He's so cute. And then, let's see. Leaf things? Oh, yeah. I have these cool leaf garlands. You can put them around like those thick white bottom candles or whatever kind of candles you like. Um, they do come with this little hangy thing. 
and they are a dollar each. I have three of them, and those are number 19, if anybody's interested. Um, that's all, that's all, that's all. Okay. This is the little elderly lady with the red shoes and her sock. And I marked her down to um, a dollar because she had, I think this might be her arm glue job. I'm not sure. Or if she had some other kind of thing attached. Hey, Jackie, how are you? How's Ron? I hear he's at the hospital. That's so awesome. Tell him I'm glad to cashew him out the hospital. And she's one dollar and she is number 32. Okay. And then I have um where did he go? I don't know. We'll just skip him. Okay. Hansel and Gretel, little golden book. And that is disappeared on me too. Why is my life this complicated? Here it is. Unless, this is two dollars number 27 like i said it does have the little um wear to the front cover and it's the brothers grim hansel and gretel by the golden press and that's two dollars number 27 and then i had pocahontas and poo also two dollars pocahontas was 33 and Pooh was 38. I'll do all three of these books. He's home and already on his computer. Oh, you get all three of these books for how about four dollars? Buy two, get one free. Pocahontas, Hansel and Gretel, and Winnie the Pooh. And then I have. <laughs> The, el the elderly gentleman with the apples. And he wants to go home. And he's got that little, you know, he's kind of leaning up against that branch to give his leg some extra support there. And he's, he's pretty adorable. Rosy red cheeks. And he is $2. And he's number 22. And Lady Elaine got the wooden bowls, if I remember right. I don't know why I didn't write her down for that. But I got you, girl. Boston Warehouse. Oh, the salt and pepper shakers. I was like, Boston Warehouse? Those are gone, too. <laughs> so we'll just skip those. Okay. And then we have the gentleman in the red coat. And he's back in the box, too. I'm doing a really bad job of reshowing. Here's Viv and Lou purse. Here is a Viv and Lou purse. I forgot to put the word A in there. And it's blue and white stripes. And it's like either leather or faux leather. And it's got the little long strap on it. And the top zipper opens up real deep. And then the front zipper is just, you know, half, half deep. And this is five dollars and this is number 45. yeah hospitals are no fun i'm so glad he is out okay then i had the girl reading here she is she's hiding back there and she's sitting on that gravity defying pen, uh, fence post Thank you, DM. I got you for the Viv and Lou bag. And this little lady is $2, and she is number 55. $2, number 55. Okay. And then I had the fabric. It's a dollar. It's got, like, a piece cut out of it. I don't know where I put it. Where'd you go with fabric? I did not do a good job of keeping the things that didn't sell near me. Okay. <laughs> and we have Pretty Bird. Like that Pretty Bird movie on Dumb and Dumber. Y'all remember that movie? 
And he's two dollars. He's pastel. He's very cool colors with the little rose. And he's two dollars number forty six. Bird boy. Oh, bird boy. Bird boy. Okay. I just saw bird boy. Where'd bird boy go? Why bird boy hide? Okay, that was like my cutest figurine. Where did he go? I know I just saw him. Okay, maybe I just showed him and that's what it is. And. Okay. Oh, he's behind me. I'm sitting on him. That's why I couldn't find him. <laughs> his little boy holding his bird cage, setting his bird free, giving it a kiss. He's adorable. He's got, I think this flower is missing a couple of petals, but like you, you can't really, I mean, you can tell visually. Um, he is $2 and he is number 56. And the purse kit, I've knocked down to $4 and it's an amazing purse kit. If I could ever find where I put things, everything's in front of me and covered in paper. Purse kit, purse kit. Um, I don't know. I thought that was a really cool item. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> You'd think everything would be in the box in front of me, but it's not. Because that's the one filled with paper. Oh, I was looking right at it. Don't mind me. This is the purse handle kit. You got both purse handles. You can macrame, you can, um, and the handle's its own loom. And you can put your own initials on there. It's got the little stuff in the kit. And you can macrame, crochet, weave, or put fabric on there. You could do all kinds of things. And then you would be so cool. And this is $4.00. And it is number 47. And I guess everything I didn't, I showed wasn't very long ago. Let's see if there's anything I think would have saw. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's about it. Let's wrap it up for this evening. Purse kit behind you. <laughs> yep, everything's behind me, but. <laughs> And number 40. Let me just make sure. Okay. So last I saw DM for the Viv and Lou bag. Not order it. Yeah. I put it behind me. I got you. I understood you. We're on the same. Um, you're like a purple light twin person. That's why we can <laughs> understand what people are. What each other are saying it without fully saying it. I can't talk tonight. <laughs> It's been a long day. I've been up since 7.45 a.m. But um, I was just so happy to see all you guys tonight come in and tell me why that made me feel so special. And tomorrow we'll be doing a live sale in the morning on Teresa's channel, Sweet Tea's Treasures by Teresa B. And joining us will be I Spy Queens. Are the queens and so y'all be sure to check her out and y'all be sure to go back and watch stephanie's disney video she had a lot of great stuff and um thank y'all all no my teapot did not sell the five dollar otagiri teapot no it did not it's still alive it's still kicking i don't know where it went <laughs> why Oh, it's in its box that it belongs in. He is five dollars in the teapot. He was number fifty-four. Fifty-four. If anybody's interested in the sunflower ladybug Otagiri teapot. And thank you, Linda, for asking. And you want 54? Okay. Gotcha, girl. And thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I'm here every Monday night. Um, 
8 at 8 p.m. solo usually. So it's great to see you all. Thank you so much for coming. I want to talk on the phone when we can hang out and we aren't not. I know, but they change, they mess with my medicine on this weekend, so I was like not I was like not functional. But they fixed it today. I love you too. What'd you say to Delbo? She don't ever answer the phone when we call. Jonathan says you don't ever answer the phone when we call. I don't believe that. Is it true? Yeah, on Messenger. On Messenger? I don't have her on Messenger. I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Well, look, answer your phone when you're not so tired. Love you guys. Good night. Bye. <laughs> see y'all tomorrow. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow, DM. Thanks.